Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Finger points to the sky for episode number 80 today on our road. Jeez, we are, well, 80% of the way there towards our goal of 100 episodes to start the series off nicely. And I've got to say our team is looking, well, pretty good, but also a little bit empty right now. Because if you missed it in the end of yesterday's episode, I may have listed Neymar and Rashford up on the market. With no promises as to whether they would sell or not sell, and if they would stay or go. So we'll find out in this episode what happens. But yes, guys, do me a huge favor at the very start. This is a big episode today. Hit me with a thumbs up. 5,000 likes is your target. Be kind to Lasty on this Wednesday and hit him with a thumbs up. And subscribe as well if you are new around here. Um, <clears throat> so... I can reveal that Rashford sold, Neymar did not sell. And I didn't realize the amount of fodder I had in my club. Now, the reason we mention that is because the first thing I'm going to go out and do is buy a 90 rated Allison, who is the cheapest 90 rated card on the game, to put into the most expensive squad for Joao Felix. Because I really, really want this card, and I think it's well-priced for the level of player that you're going to get. So as you can see, we are going to be submitting our goalkeeper, Loris. We're also going to be submitting, as it goes along here, uh, Red Pacheco, Alex Tellez. We've got Jaden Sancho and Eden Hazard and Kimmich, as well as Werner. Well, he's a duplicate, so we can grab him back. But yes, Kimmich, Sancho, and Hazard are all going to be submitted into these squads. I found I haven't been using them, and I'm sure I can get them back at some point in time. So that saved me 200,000 coins, guys, which is obviously a lot. Um, and by doing so, it meant that we had the coins without even selling Neymar to complete the rest of the Joao Felix SBC and have both Neymar... And Felix in our squad. Now, it's going to be a fairly difficult one to try and get chemistry-wise. But that left me pretty happy. Because I thought the only possible way we were going to get Felix done is to make sure Neymar's gone from the club. <clears throat> and I didn't really want to let him go, as I'm sure you guys could tell. And it's awesome that we actually... We, I tried to sell him. But he just didn't sell in the first hour. And we'd already completed the SBC within that time. And therefore, he is going to stay. Which I think a lot of you are probably going to be very happy with. I saw some, uh, I saw some people not uh, over the moon at us letting go of Neymar in the comments section yesterday. So uh, yeah, you know. And I also saw some people that were, were ready for the change. Well, I think the change is going to happen today. Uh, but Neymar's just still going to be a part of the club, which I think is pretty awesome as well. Um, but wait till you see the team that we've put together. It's pretty awesome. Um, so the final squad. Then I did need to go out and spend. The majority of the rest of my coins uh, on some uh, on some high rated players that are obviously fodder players are a little bit up in terms of price right now, and then like high rated players like Neymar and stuff are all coming crashing down. Not really sure of the reasons for that. Obviously, the fodder players are up because there's some good SBCs out right now, but I'm not quite sure why there's such a market crash on the top end. But you know what? We've already lost 300k on Neymar. What's another 100k, right? It doesn't matter. But welcome to the club, the Portuguese young talent of dreams. It is, of course, Joao Felix, the Portuguese Atletico Madrid attacker. I cannot wait to get this card in my squad. Look how good he looks. 87 pace, 89 dribbling, 89 shooting, and 82 passing. That is just off the rip for an 87 rated card. That is mental. That is absolutely insane. And I think he's going to be a madness. I've seen lots of people say some incredible things about him. I have also seen a few people say some not so incredible stuff about him. So it will be interesting to figure out personally what, you know, what we think of the card. So, um, yeah, this is going to be one of my new strikers. That is for sure. And, of course, we get three little packs to come along with... Uh, 
with completing the SBC. We can open them up. Hope that we can get a little bit of our money back. Be nice to just get some boards or something because then at that point we've probably got a fodder player that we could sell on. Uh, nothing really from the, the first pack. We do get a silver Arsenal striker. Maybe I should take a little look to see if he sells at all. Uh, and then from pack number two, which I think we go for premium gold players pack. Um, I mean, yes, it's a 400k SBC and yes, you don't get that amazing packs back, but we get boards from this one. It's going to be a Swiss goalkeeper from Dortmund, of course, because it's not a walkout. So it's not going to be Sommer. It's going to be the 84 rated Berkey. I mean, that's a fodder player right there. It's five or 6,000 coins right now. Uh, so I can go ahead and take a little bit more off of the, uh, the overall cost of the SBC. I think it cost me 200k which I'm actually really happy with, uh, getting that Xiao Felix for like 200k plus my fodder. I'm fine with that, you know. Uh, a little sad to say goodbye to Eden Hazard and Kimmich, but they are literally both, like, they are fodder players now on, on like, footwiz when you check the lowest rated 88s. The, both of those guys show up, so it's madness. Uh, who'd have thought Eden Hazard was, like, a 35k player? That's crazy to me. But anyway, there are, of course, going to have to be some changes made to the team in order to fit this awesome player in. Uh, I'm going to go with an engine chem style on, on Felix just because it's going to make him as quick and agile and stuff as possible. And I don't feel the need to boost that shooting whatsoever. It's already really, really good um, for this stage of the game. So, yeah, I think engine is the way to go. Now, this is like an idea that I sort of had... Um, for our squad. So bear with me whilst there's some players out of position and stuff here. Like I don't plan on playing Gravenberch at left wing on like one chemistry. Um, but we are going to do it so that we use our Carrasco in form. Not Marcus Lorente. His name is Carrasco, all right? Loads of you got that wrong. Or I got it wrong. <laughs> but anyway, this was like the idea of what we could do for the squad. And then I wanted to make a change. I wanted Gravenberch in the squad. And I didn't particularly want Fabinho or Tellez in there. So I can make this change right here. Yes, it drops Neymar down to 8 chem. I'm totally fine with that. But we could, uh, I mean, I can't afford Van Arnholt, so it's not going to be Van Arnholt. What it is actually going to be is Tagliafico, which is an 84 rated player that we have in our club right now, who I think looks really good. I, I checked him out on Footwiz to see what he looks like with like a shadow or an anchor. <clears throat> and let me tell you, he looks incredible with a shadow chem style. He's already kind of got the physicals. Like, if you look at Wamba Saka's in games, for example, he's got l l really low strength and stuff. Tagliafico's actually got a higher strength stat uh, just off of base. So I'm just going to boost the pace and the defending stats with a shadow chem style. And he looks monstrous. And then, of course, we can adjust the defense around so that we can pick up a David De Gea in goal, which gives Bella in the extra chemistry he needs to make sure he's on seven chem um, as a center back who will be playing right back. And he's been doing great in that role right now. So I, I just think this squad looks absolutely fun and awesome. What you will notice, though, is that instead of three midfielders, we now only have two. So we're going to be changing formation, at least for the first half of our games. I'm going to be trying out this 4-4-2 again to see if last time was like a, a mishap. This was kind of like my bread and butter at the start of the game. So there's no reason why it shouldn't work for me. So I'm going to be giving it a go. We're going to be playing Neymar and Joao Felix up front with Depay out on the right and Carrasco out on the left. And then, of course, Bellerin switching with Juan Basaka, Joe Gomez and Basaka switching as well. Uh, and then Seydorf and Gravenberch as uh, as our two, like, hanging back midfielders. But they're box to boxes, so they'll get forward as well. <clears throat> I just think it's a <laughs> frog in throat. Uh, I, I, think, I think it's a good idea. So I'm at 14 wins. So this is actually from Sunday, this footage. I know it's Wednesday right now. But I got so much done at the weekend. Um... In terms of actually playing the game. And by the way, two minutes into Xiao Felix's debut, he scores that. A lovely, a lovely bridge and then a lovely finish. And I'm like, okay. So I was accidentally on the next gen version of the game at this point. Because I was just building everything in the menus. Because obviously they look a tiny bit better. Um, <clears throat> and then I went into a game of the weekend league. And I'm like, oh no, I didn't switch back to old gen. Uh, so when I found myself 2-0 up. And then actually in a moment here, 3-0 up. I mean, this is the luckiest goal you've ever seen. I don't even know how that went in. I think it went off of Varane through the legs of the goalkeeper. So that, that counts as known goal. Um, 
But yeah, I was 3 0 up and I was like, okay, maybe next gen isn't so bad. Uh, and then he gets it back to 3 1. That was a totally. Like, that was totally my mistake. I just, I played it out stupid from my goalkeeper and gifted him a goal, essentially. <clears throat> when you're 3-0 up, you tend to do stupid things without thinking. And then the second half started and he gets through and scores with Mbappe. Again, not really sure how that goal went in, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, and then he does get through with the Frenchman again to literally level this game. I was 3-0 up and now I'm about to be 4-3 down. He whips across in. And Ansu Fati rises higher than the rest. How and why? But hey, he does it anyway. Uh, and I'm now losing this game. Felix ends up getting an, getting his hat trick. Uh, or like the fourth goal, really, that he scored in this game. He is madness off of the first game alone. I've really enjoyed him. Um, <clears throat> but for all, I then somehow give a penalty away late on in the game. You know, that is typical lasty stuff. And his Neymar does slot it home. And I'm like, okay. Brilliant. We actually did just lose a game from being 3-0 up. Oh, that is embarrassing. Um, so, yeah, instead of just what I was going to do was build this squad on the Sunday and then just leave it at 14 wins, head into some rivals uh, in the week, and then that would have been today's video. But because it was still Sunday and I was actually working on Sunday, I figured, you know what, why not just go into the weekend league? Some of you guys do like it if I play on a little bit further in, in foot champs, and we'll see if we can get gold two or gold one. Uh, gold one would be a real push because we've had a bad weekend league as it is. Um, and I end up quitting against this guy at 2-0. Just like, this is when I realized, you know what, go back to old gen, Tom. It, it just makes more sense. And then this is the first squad I come up against on old gen. But uh, the, the the speed that that loaded into the game, this is also somebody that has an Xbox Series X and has just gone back to old gen as well. So I could tell he was probably going to be a pretty good player. Um, because, yeah, I mean, if you, if you know the strats, then uh, you're normally a little bit clued up, right? But after 59 minutes against this five-at-the-back team, I finally go 1-0 up. Uh, and it was a lot of pressure. He was putting a lot of pressure on. He was also sitting back quite a lot when it came to the defending. I don't know. This formation seems like it can really work. Um, but, yeah, Ansu Fati ends up scoring the equaliser against me. Uh, and look how deep that defence is from him. It's just, it was so difficult to get past and do anything. But a directional nutmeg there from Neymar does get me through. And I do get a goal in off the bar. The Brazilian doing wild things there. And that was a kickoff goal, I'm pretty sure. Maybe? I can't remember when, when he scored. Um, but yeah, eventually I beat this guy. He did switch to a 4 triple 2 in the end. But he was definitely 5 at the back for most of the game. Uh, I checked it out. And... Um, yeah, that gives us our 15th win. And then I come up against this. I mean, I have gone back to old gen, right? How am I matching the super teams? Now, this is a very nice squad. Neymar, Mbappe, Rashford, like all sorts of very, very good players. Uh, I do end up getting through with the bridge again. Uh, Neymar scoring the goal to put me 1-0 up after five minutes. And I was like, okay, this is going to be all right. He was fairly open at the back. And then I can see the sloppy, sloppy goal. Poor from me and Wambasaka there. Um, and he ends up, you know, getting a left-footed strike with Rashford. Renato Sanchez then knocks it into Neymar, of course, if you don't... If you don't guess right with Neymar, like I guess he was just going to shoot it first time on the left foot. Turns out he took a touch to get it on his right and then hits me with the long dance celebration. And I'm 2-1 down all of a sudden and it's half time. And actually, it does look like I deserve to be 2-1 down as well. Uh, and then in the second half, I mean, 60, 70 minutes on the clock. I have to throw the kitchen sink at him to try and make this game work. Uh, and I end up going 3-1 down. Yes, I do get a very lucky, I think, kickoff goal. Um, and then... We're still one goal behind. Still throwing the kitchen sink at him to try and get back in this game. But look at that, man. Look how open he is. Oh, and it's just because he had that stay wide on the on the winger. Uh, that's what kept my fullback from actually coming in the box and defending there, I, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, so we're now 15 and like <clears throat> 10, 11. I don't know. We're 15 and something, but it's not good, whatever it is. Now we come up against Kante to glory. Nice squad with some very, very good players, of course. Uh, his Alessandrini knocks it through to Martial, who knocks it through to Son. And I do go 1-0 down. Neymar then tries to run past Sol Campbell into Zhao Felix. Hit him with the uh, the rainbow flick. And then the, the resulting bounce just went super lucky for me. I do get a goal with the Portuguese, though. I love his uh, dynamic image, by the way. It's fantastic. He looks like one of the happiest men on the planet. Uh, he really does. He must have been just as he scored a goal or something. But yeah, uh, we're 2-1 down as he does run up the other end and get a goal. So at halftime, things are really not going so well with my new formation. And it is obviously, you know, I'm going in at a, 
at the latter stages of the weekend league, which is always more difficult uh, with a new formation and a new squad. So I was expecting it to not be easy, um, but I do switch this stuff around to make it a 4-1-2-1-2 for like the latter stages of the game if I was struggling. And as you can see here, we get the goals to turn this game around and Alessandrini actually makes it 4-2 towards the end as well. So... My opponent is left demoralized, and I've ended up coming away with a, a decent result there. Um, so, yes, switching back to my 4 1 2 1 2 does help, but I dominated that game as well. You know, I've got to, I've got to remember that I am all right at this game sometimes. Then I come up against this Messi, road to the final, Rashford. He's got Xiao Felix as well, uh, and all sorts of very, very good players. I would love that red Marcos Lorente, that is for sure. And I do mean Marcos Lorente, not Carrasco. Uh, but we go 1-0 up. Uh, then Messi ends up tackling Joe Gomez, knocking it through to Jao Felix, who does net that because, of course, he has got a, uh, a lovely strike on him. And everyone does this celebration now. It must be the longest celebration, and that's why people do it, right? I might have to buy it. I might have to buy it just to hit people back if they do it to me. Uh, but we get a Graven Birch goal. Uh, I don't really know how it happened, but it did happen. Uh, and then Rashford ends up just getting... It's too easy to play that ball through. Um, and we were just celebrating against each other every single time in this game. Because once he did it, I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to do it as well then. Uh, so two all at half time. This game could literally go either way. Xiao Felix for my opponent does get through. Does score a crazy goal there. That's a really solid finish from him. And if he can do that for me, I'll be very happy. Uh, and, of course, he does do that for me. A lovely uh, lovely bridge and a good speed boost and a lovely finish there. And we hit him with the nail biter. Uh, and then Neymar knocks it through. And Shao Felix turns the game around. It looks as though we could be coming in for our 17th win. Don't hold your breath, though, because, well... I mean, look at this. Look at this from Neymar. Oh, my God. The rainbow flick, the flick-ups, the volley. You know I'm using and abusing that. And I don't know why everybody else isn't. But, you know, you got to get to know. But 5-3 up. He threw the kitchen sink at it. He leaves me with Neymar to go ahead and chip through to make it 6-3. And you know, you know when you see that pause get queued in the top that you are like, that's my win. I'm going to get my victory here. Scored in the 69th minute. A cheeky chip. And Neymar is going to force a rage quit for my opponent. Giving me 17 wins in the weekend league. So there you go, guys. <clears throat> Turns out to be like 17 and 11. 17 and 11, I think it was. So only two games left. I couldn't make it to gold one. So, of course, that is, of course, where we're going to stop. Um... I'm happy that we got a slightly better record this weekend. You know, it helps if I work on a Sunday. It means I can play a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's for also made the content go all the way to Wednesday. So I can literally now just hit you with some rewards tomorrow or maybe some other packs tomorrow or something. Uh, and then we'll be right back on track again with the upload schedule. We'll be caught up again, which is awesome. So yeah, so far so good for like... Jao Felix. Carrasco doesn't really do much. I do bring him off at half time when I switch back to that 4 1 2 1 2. But overall, he's a good wide player and he, he does offer something to the team. So uh, no issues there. But yeah, I, I was wondering if there's any way to use all of these players apart from Carrasco and then try and get in another box to box, maybe like um, the inform Marcus Lorente or something. Is there a way to get all of those players and stuff in? So that we can start with 4 one 2, one, two. I don't know. There's just no way. Because if you replace... Uh, who knows? Let me know if you can figure out a crazy way if you are a great squad builder or something. Uh, but it would require using pretty much all of those players. I don't want... I pretty much want all of those players to feature. Maybe not Tagliafico. Maybe not uh, Carrasco. But try and get another midfielder in there and see if we can make it work. I'm happy with a few players off chemistry. But the team does need to still say 100 chem at the end. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I'm losing my breath. Um, but yeah, if you can hit me with a thumbs up for the end of this episode, that would be amazing. 5,000 likes is your target. Come on, smash that thumbs up and support. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Have a lovely day. Oh, come follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links are down below. And now, have a lovely day. Uh, take it easy. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I'll catch you again tomorrow with another episode, ladies and gentlemen. Peace. <laughs>